many of us recognize, whether we are following the school of Ahl al-Bayt or not, of the status enjoyed by the holy Imam in the eyes of the holy prophet of Islam, Rasul al-A'zam Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Doesn't the holy prophet of Islam say, إِذَا أَحَبَّ اللَّهُ عَبْدًا قَذَفَ فِي قَلْبِهِ حُبَّ الْحُسَيْنِ وَزِيَارَتِهِ if Allah loves an individual, he places in their hearts the love of Hussein and the ziyara of Hussein. And this realization is brought forward when a poet was asked, how do you spell the Arabic word ishq, pure, deep love? How many letters does it have? He says, to me, ishq, pure love has four letters. Ha, sa, seen, ya, and noon, Hussein. Yes? The idea emerges is that the Prophet of Islam one day was sitting and there was a few companions. Ka'ab ibn Ubay narrates that the grandson of the Holy Prophet enters. The Prophet of Islam addresses him and says, Marhaban Welcome to the one who is the decoration and the ornament of the heavens and the earth. They said to him, Ya Rasulullah, isn't, isn't, aren't you the one who decorates the heavens and the earth? He replies to them, Hussein is revered in the heavens much more than he is on the earth. Then he says, Ala annahu maktubun ala al-arsh. Surely, verily, it is written on the throne of Allah, إِنَّ الْحُسَيْنَ مِسْبَاحُ الْهُدَى وَسَفِينَةُ النَّجَاتِ Hussein is the ship of salvation and the lantern of guidance. Our holy eighth Imam, Imam Ali ibn Musa al-Ridha, salawatu Allahi wa salamu alayhi. Was asked, aren't you all ships of salvation? The Imam responds, indeed, we are all ships of salvation. But the ship of Hussein is wider. And it is faster in the oceans. Yes. Therefore, you recognize that when it comes to the slogan and the chant of Labbaika Ya Hussein, it is something special for us.